Hello guys, how are we all doing? Welcome back to yet another match vlog. We are off to the CBS tonight for the TV game on ITV4. It's Coventry City versus Maidstone United. A big FA Cup game. Of course, the eyes are going to be on Maidstone United. Can they pull off a big FA Cup upset at Championship Coventry? Obviously, they did at Championship Ipswich in the previous round. From where we're concerned, though, we are Coventry fans. We know the world will be against us tonight, but we need to get the job done. And it'd be great to get to the FA Cup quarterfinals for the first time in 15 years. Years. In my predictions video, I've gone for 3-1 to Coventry. Sophie, what was your thoughts? Um, I said 2-0. I've not gone that heavy. I'm not that confident just because of our recent performances. And also, you can't take games for granted. Maidstone, they've just wiped out Ipswich before us. So, they're more than capable of taking us out too. Yeah. And Burgi, how are you? I'm all good. Um, so it's a weird one because I wanted to see Maidstone go far. But unfortunately, not now. my, yeah. my team comes first. Um, you like say you can't rule them out. They're a strong, they're a pretty strong side, and after last week's uh, last game for Cov, mm, we did struggle. But oh, we did. Yeah. We should beat them. I'm going for a very, very modest. 1-0 win for Cov. Wow. It could be. It mm. could be. Uh, that's our predictions, guys. 3-1, 2-0, 1-0. We are back in Coventry. Could we be left with egg on our faces? Potentially. As we said, we wish Maidstone all the best, but oh, yeah. seeing as they've now come up against our team, we need to get rid of them. Uh, before we get into this video, guys, let's smash the light target. Uh, let's set it at 1,000. It's never usually that big for a vlog, but come on, make sure to drop a like. The winners tonight will be going to the FA Cup quarterfinals, so there's a lot on the line. Drop a like and also make sure you're subscribed if you're not already to get your football fix it's free to subscribe so what have they got to do guys subscribe subscribe yeah exactly come on let's get to the cbs for coventry city versus maidstone here we are then at the cbs oh look who it is hello hiya george We're back. two Pre days later yeah um let's have a prediction for coventry versus maidstone you know what everyone's going into this game full of optimism i don't know why because we just lost three now to preston but it's the league difference between the two teams yeah but i think i think we've been a bit too complacent we have made some changes to the side we've still got a decent side out but i think it's going to be tight i think it's going to be one nil either way like they Ooh. can beat us one nil they're going to keep it so tight trying to make a late goal but i'm going to go with one nil to Coventry. oh okay all right you saved it at the end Right, we're joined by Miles. What do you reckon the score's going to be? Um, I think it will be 4-1 to Coventry. 4-1 to Coventry. Put it there, buddy. There we go. Right, here we are then. And here come the players. Here we go. Coventry City versus Maidstone for a place in the quarterfinals. And look at that brilliant away support. Maidstone bring in 5,000 fans on a Monday night to Coventry for one of the biggest games in their history. And Coventry take this serious. Over 26,000 here today as we look for a place in the quarterfinals. Come on! You can do well. Chances there for Coventry. The first corner of the game here. Talk puts it in. Oh, Coverland's there. Now, one thing I will say is I do know that this keeper, Coverland, is very good. Played very well against Ipswich. He also scored in the National League playoff final a couple of years ago. Here comes City with Hadji Wright. Yes! Come on! Ellis Sims brings lift off. Yeah! to the Sky Blues! Come on! Yes! Oh, I can see that from a mile off. <laughs> Great goal! Here come Maidstone straight after. Oh, hang on. Oh! Wilson. Oh, thank God for that. Maidstone are testing Coventry's defence here. Oh, good run. Oh! Oh! 
Oh, jeez. I'll tell you what, fair play to them. Here's a chance. Yes! Ellis Sims at the double. <laughs> Come on, boys. Ellis Sims puts Coventry in a comfortable position. <laughs> come on! Here come Coventry again. Oh, oh. Cough corner. Oh, well gathered by the keeper. That takes us up to half time. Like half time then at the CBS, 3 0 to Coventry. And um, obviously, Coventry have been amazing, but we must say we are joined by the one and only Cookie. Here he is. He's made a return. All right. Oh, and the players are coming back out. Give us your half time analysis. Ah, oh, that was a good one out. Casey yeah. Palmer, man of the match. What a, what a geezer. Wow, Casey Palmer running the show, isn't it? Yeah. I'm looking handsome, ain't I? Looking at himself in the camera reflection. That's a good looking boy, isn't it? What about full time prediction, mate? Ah, uh, 7 0. Oh, yeah, yeah, 7. Got it. Do you not feel sorry for mates, though? No. Um, but they're better than Reading. Big day out, though. Have you panned over? Have you shown them? Yeah, they're brilliant, isn't yeah, they? Yeah, look at that, man. Fair play to them. Are they better than Reading? Uh, yeah, obviously. <laughs> Reading are soccer. <laughs> George, what's your thoughts at half time, mate? Um, <laughs> yeah, I think we were as clinical, which is nice to see. Good, you know, first time in a good while. It's not a cup tie, which is what we kind of needed to do. We've kind of killed it off, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. I think uh, just keep a clean sheet in this game now and then rest some players, maybe. Well, I think right now, with the score being 3 0, if we keep a clean sheet, we'll probably win. I'll, I'll, I'd say you're probably not far wrong there. I, re I reckon that's the case. Here we go then, second half underway. Maidstone corner. Oh? Oh, goodness me. Maidstone have another corner. It's well out. Keep them away, boys. Go on. Yeah. Oh. Good save from their keeper, Lucas Kovalam. Oh. The game's kind of petered out in the second half, if I'm being honest. Coventry have got the job done. Maidstone, they've had a couple of half chances, but 15 minutes to go, still 3 0. Time whistle, five stars, and a place in the quarterfinals. Come on! So then, just got back from the CBS. It finished Coventry City five, Maidstone nil. Uh, obviously, first of all, we are buzzing as Coventry City fans. We are into the quarterfinals for the first time in 15 years, as we said. Um, yes, we did get fortunate with the draw, but we did still have to dispatch of Maidstone. And let's talk about them. Um, first things first, credit to their fans, you know, bringing that many, it was amazing. Um, it's a shame they didn't get a goal, obviously, for their sake. Obviously, we're happy we won, but 
Um, it'd have been nice if they'd have got a goal, but I'm just happy we kind of killed the game in the first half. I think Coventry just showed their quality, really. Ellis Sims getting a hat-trick, that's brilliant. Um, you just hope he takes into the league, but it's hard not to read too much into these games because the difference in quality is, you know, quite a bit. Um, as for Maidstone, you know, they had a couple moments where they crossed the ball into the box and tried to cause a panic, but I don't think the keeper for us, Ben Wilson, was tested too much, so... Um, did they merit a goal? Possibly, but you know, didn't have many chances. I do think 5-0 was a little bit harsh, though, because Coventry kind of did all the hard work in the first half. Second half was a bit of a non-event, but then, you know, Tavares popped up with two late goals and it rounded it up to five. So, yeah, chuffed with that. And as I say, we will wait for the draw on Wednesday. We will be doing that on the channel, so do join us for that. I think it's like 6.30 or something or 7 o'clock. So do join us for that. And um, yeah, I mean, that, that's that's about it. It's a cup game. You know, you just sort of wait and see who you get next. But a word on Maidstone, their fans were pretty good. You're going to hear this a lot uh, from like every team. Well done, fair play. Um, and you're not pa you're not being patronising, by the way, are you? Not at all. I really wanted to see you get a goal. You didn't really have my half-time analysis, from, but what I saw from the first half is like that it was almost, almost route one, but you know, crosses from outside the box that were very dangerous. And it was a very... Um, a very good style of play, but no, fair play. Uh, credit to Sims, obviously. It's great to see him get a bit more confidence. He actually said that in his post-match interview. Um, and Tavares, it's great to see him get two goals in his first game this season <coughs> of goals. Um, so hopefully, you know, the fans were right. We can get Tavares on a bit more. He stayed on throughout the whole game. So we've got a lot to look forward to, but like you say, and can't judge it too much on this on, on an FA Cup tie. Yes, I agree. Um, like I say, well done to Maidstone for getting this far. And um, good luck for the rest of your National League South campaign. Absolutely. I hope you guys can go on to get promoted back to the National League. But we are Coventry fans and we look forward now to Coventry's next game, which is on Friday against West Brom. That won't be easy. Um, but first things first, I'm excited to see the FA Cup quarterfinal draw play out. We know it's mainly Premier Ooh. League teams left. A couple of championship teams that could get through still, but... Um, the odds are stacked that we're going to get a difficult game. Personally, I want a home game. I'd love a, a big team like Man United or Liverpool. Uh, but we'll see. You know, there's plenty of plenty of interesting ones in there. That wraps it up pretty much, guys. Like I say, share your thoughts down in the comments, whether you're a Coventry fan, a Maidstone fan, or a neutral who might have watched this today. Mm -hmm. And if you've enjoyed it, please do make sure to drop a like. 1,000 likes would be absolutely fantastic on this one. Make sure you're subscribed as well. And we will see you in the next one. Peace out. Later, guys. <laughs>